Hey YouTube, this is an alarm user 281 and I'm on my main account on Roblox and I'm going to be starting a new game, brand new game with you guys today and, this, and the first thing I'm going to do is add sound effects and music. It's just going to be really basic, not going to be doing a bunch of crazy stuff with all the with all the different sound effects. I'm just going to be just showing you how to put one song in here, which I think should probably be enough. All right. First thing you need to do is is have Roblox Studio open. Obviously, Explorer, Toolbox, and everything. You don't really have to have these open. You have to have Advanced Objects open, but you don't really have to have Toolbox open. Let me just change that. Okay. Um. Just in case. <laughs> All right. So, um, first thing you want to do is just obviously have Roblox Studio open. Then we're gonna go to the uh, um. So first thing you want to do is copy and paste the asset I the music asset ID and I'll put that link in the description. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in here. But the first thing you need to do actually, sorry that's kind of a mistake, but you need to go to advanced objects, then insert sound, then you go to sound view. Sorry, I have kind of this part cut off because I want to protect my identity. Um, <laughs> Alright, then here, you're going to paste the asset, and I'll put the asset link in the description if you need it. Then you want to go to Roblox Catalog. You can go to Catalog, choose any one, go to Audio, and choose any of these you want. Um, then the say I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to choose Better Off Alone because I like that song. And you'll see typically, uh, um, but I'm going to choose Better Off Alone by Roblo Sam, and you typically see the, um, the sound ID with a bunch of numbers, but what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste the numbers. I mean, there's, if, you, if there's no numbers here that says the link, you just go to the link at the top of your screen to copy and paste it. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to copy and paste those numbers into the sound ID. And yeah, you go down to sound properties. I would probably check looped. Looped, I highly recommend it. All right, so that's all you need to do there. And first, next thing you're gonna do is go to advanced objects, then go to local script. Where's local script? I think I passed it. Um, local script, there we go. And what you're gonna do in that local script, is just delete that first, then you're just gonna type the following. Game dot workspace dot sound play and parenthesis parenthesis perfect then in order for this to work the very last thing you have to do is go to local script right click cut and then copy that into the starter GUI and we're gonna test that really quick to see if it actually works hopefully it should okay come on, come on. Okay, perfect. It works. Okay, perfect. So hopefully this um, worked for you guys. If you have, if you kind of having trouble, just feel free to post a question in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. I'm trying to get more subscribers. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see.